So we are in the Türkenschanz Park right now, a place with a high tree diversity. And this is a Spanish fir, but you can see how the cones, the seeds, are always on the top part of the tree so that they can guarantee the pollination by wind and they can guarantee to be spread over kilometers very centered in the top of the of the fir tree species this kind of parks all over the alpine space here for example in the city of vienna were planned and first uh, arranged about 150 years ago or even longer and this gives us the great opportunity today to see how the tree species in the urban area were growing and what problems they have here you see for for example abies concolor it's a north american fir species and it's beautiful because it has really this touch of light green colors in the park and it's always important in urban areas not just that you provide green space but also that you really design a set of green colors uh, which are green all over the year evergreen just like all the fir species Conifers, as you can see perfectly in this park arrangements, are an important part of the green infrastructure in parks, which are used for recreation, for walking the dog, <laughs> for just enjoying some green space within a very urban and grey zone. And it's super important for us, for our health, uh, for our social lives. And I think everybody enjoys going to a park, right? To see again, Abies Concolor. Wait, let me catch it. <laughs> it's just too high up, which is also quite characteristic for a fern tree because they, they are losing the branches in the bottom, they grow, the older they grow. And of course, especially in parks, for security reasons, these tree species are particularly maintained and the, the branches are cut off so that they don't fall and drop on the people lying or picnicking around them when there is a little bit of wind. <laughs> the genus of fir species it is, is distributed over the northern uh, hemisphere from Spain to Siberia and has a lot of varieties and a lot of subspecies and species. So here you see the Spanish fir, which is easily to recognize because the leaves are arranged just around the branch and after several years sticking to the branch it is they are also dropping down they're evergreen but they don't remain forever on the tree and then they make space for the new generation of leaves just like you see here on this one. Oh, fantastic there is another one with the seeds they always point to the sky and straight up and then when they are mature they don't drop in one piece but they crackle so another characteristic of the fir species is that you never find the cone in one piece on the ground you rather find only parts of it there is only abies alba native to the alpine space, a tree species which you can find easily in higher elevations and it's and the Abies alba, the silver fir, is very useful uh, for the timber industry, for example, but it has also a lot of ec ecological important roles in the whole ecosystem of forests. And uh, apart from Abies alba, we count 14 different non-native fir tree species in the alpine space of about 56 fir tree species globally. So here you see one of them. Such a Greek fir has a fantastic appearance. It's evergreen, it really pops into your eye. And then you can easily identify it because it always looks like the cut, you, you have cut off the top of it. And it's native to the Greek island Kefalonia in the Aegean Sea. Uh, where it was undiscovered until the 18th century and then it was brought to Central European parks where it has really established until today to a wonderful solitaire tree species in parks and 
it's always a pleasure to see it <laughs> just like every fir tree because fir trees remind us on christmas on a time which we spend uh, on leave with our families uh, with our loved ones and i think that's why so many people have this positive association with fir trees just like myself i guess here you see the leaves of the greek fir compared to the spanish fir and you can see how all the fir tree species have a very characteristic leaf shape and are very easy to distinguish from each other so they are slightly longer and uh, have a little bit different color as well fir species also like just like any old tree is also a habitat for other species like lichens or mosses and so on and now we have a look at the fir species which is super important for christmas time abies not manana it can be cultivated very easily in uh, plantations and they grow quite fast and it smells wonderful once you have put it up in the warm and uh, it's very popular for christmas i guess because it has this quite straight growth and the branches are also distributed quite regularly and symmetrically just as decorative as we want it on the other and also it's very easy to grow in plantations year by year and that's why it's so popular for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas special on the non-native fir tree species in the alpine space and I wish you a Merry Christmas and relaxing holidays.